Hello guys, just going to make a quick, quick video here on a way you can import fonts into uh, Tinkercad. Now let me just start by saying before you get into this video, there is no way to download an, an entire family of fonts, an entire font alphabet, and just plug it in and install that into Tinkercad. It's 2020, I don't know why you can't do that, but you can't, <clears throat> so pretty much Tinkercad only recognizes uh, STL files, like you know, image files, things like that, and fonts are well the text, so it doesn't really move it around in a 3D fashion like you're probably looking for. So let's get into it really, really quick. For you to download um, a font into here, you're going to have to do it letter by letter. As you can see, I already started, and I figured I'd just make a video because uh, I couldn't find anything online, but I figured it out. So. What you want to do is I went to Google fonts because I'm going to be using this to 3d print and then I'll be selling those 3d prints so the font you use has to allow you to do that all of Google fonts allows you to you know use their license to sell commercially but anyway I went here I picked a, any font I picked Krona one this is what it looks like I really like that so what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to screenshot each one of these um, letters one at a time it's going to take a long time, but trust me, you only have to do this once. Uh, now, I think I'm on H. So what you want to do to screenshot on Windows 10, Windows key, Shift, and S, as in Sam. That's going to darken your screen. So what you want to do now is you take your mouse, and you want to mouse over and highlight whatever you want to screenshot. Right now, I'm on H. Now, as soon as you let go of your mouse, it's going to screenshot it. As you can see right here, save it to clipboard like that. There's my H. I want to save that I just call it H I'm saving it in my screenshots and it's a PNG file so I still can't use it in um, Tinkercad but we'll get to that later so I save that there I can close that what you need to do now is convert it from PNG to SVG and just go right here this website it's free it's so easy P pick svg.com just go there you want to hit upload a picture now what you don't what you want to do is go to your screenshots click the one you you're looking for right now I'm on H so I open that and it's down here it's converted now you can see this looks a little funky like it's written in marker you gotta change the filter so look at all of these one of them will look good usually it's invert 3 that looks very close to it sometimes it's ready 3 either one but I us usually use invert 3 but make sure you're not on like invert 1 it, those look really crappy so invert three now you're gonna download it okay done It's downloaded so what you're gonna do now is go back into Tinkercad and you're gonna import it so you go to import choose a file now do not click this H right here in, in screenshots it's still PNG that's not going to work you're gonna get an error message you need to go to your downloads and click the last one you downloaded I already know that's H because it's the one I just downloaded and then you open that then you import it to the artboard and it's gonna pop up here there you go that's how you get a text in the Tinkercad but I don't really want to have to do this every single time that I'm going to be using this text so I just set my little parameters real quick that I always use you don't have to do this but so I'm gonna save this font to my computer this letter of this font to my computer rename this H because that's what I'm on so that anytime I need to use this font again I can just import it if I didn't save this and I close this project it would go away I'd have to do this all over again so to prevent that make sure you have the letter selected you know change the title to that letter you're gonna export it as an STL right there now I made a folder already that has all my fonts in it for uh, Tinkercad you can see I'm on H so you just drag it into that folder and there you're done so now if, if let's say I needed to pull up an H or whatever you import choose your file and uh, see where I, I don't even remember where I saved it is it this yeah this is the one but anyway you would find your file you would select you know let's say I needed an F you'd open it and you'd import it okay. But yeah, there it is. So there's your letters. You can mess with them as you want. Now you have them saved forever. 
and you never have to download them again. So that's it guys. Good luck and I'm very sorry that you can't download an entire font into Tindercad. And have a good day.